semi-slav defense, main line, Stoltz variation, 6, BD6. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. The middle game battle was fairly even. White outmaneuvered black in the end game. Opening with the queen's pawn. The move d5 establishes control over the e4 square, frees up the light squared bishop, and builds a presence in the center. A wing pawn is available in the queen's gambit to attack the center and divert black's attention away from the e4 square. The d5 pawn is supported by c6 in the Slav defense. The d4 pawn is safeguarded and under control thanks to nf3. nf6 controls the e4 square, advances the knight toward the center, and strengthens the d5 pawn. nc3 attacks the d5 square and starts to fight for the e4 square. The d5 pawn is supported by e6 and the bishop on the dark squares can advance. e3 defends the d4 and c4 pawns at the cost of blocking the dark squared bishop. NBD7 develops the knight toward the center and fights for control of e5. QC2 develops the queen and controls the e4 square. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Recaptures. A pawn kicks the opposing bishop, forcing it to move or risk being captured. The bishop is now in a secure position. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to kick a knight. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. This threatens to fork pieces. This strikes at the center, countering the opponent's ability to grab space. This threatens to win a pawn. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is the last book move. This exchange is fair. That's good. Backs off. This checks the king while also posing a threat of revealing an attack on a pawn. It is ideal. This threatens to kick a knight. This stops the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a pawn while also checking the king. It is excellent. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is incorrect. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. This prevents the opponent from being able to kick a knight. It is best. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is incorrect. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. This prevents the adversary from winning a pawn. It is ideal. There was just one smart move to be made. This enables the adversary to disclose an attack on a pawn. It is incorrect. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. This misses a chance to make an attack on a pawn known. It falls flat. This misses a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It falls flat. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. That's good very precise. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. This pins the other side's rook to the king, rendering it immobile. It is ideal. Thus, the assaulted rook is protected. It is ideal. The opposing rook is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This makes a check visible. It is ideal. This moves away from the queen of checking. It is ideal. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It is incorrect. This missed a move that would have produced a winning position. 
This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This allows the opponent to kick a knight. It is a miss. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. This same piece may have been captured in a better method, which would have produced a more noticeable material difference. It is incorrect. This moves the knight to safety. This is the only good move. This took advantage of a mistake and white now has a winning advantage. It is a great move. That's a decent move. That's good. This is a missed chance to claim a free pawn. That falls flat. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. This was a game-changing move, black is no longer in a losing position. It is a great move. This is the only good move. It is best. This blocks the attack on a queen that could have been captured. This is the only move that works. This threatens to reveal an attack on a rook. It is a great move. This forces doubled pawns in front of the opponent's king, decreasing its safety and harming the pawn structure. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to defend against an assault on a helpless pawn. It is incorrect. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This reveals an assault that poses a threat to a bishop. It is quite good. There was only one good move in that position. This misses a better way to defend a bishop that was under attack. It is a mistake. By pinning a knight, this increases pressure. That's good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This misses a chance to center a knight so that it can dominate more squares. It is incorrect. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This is the only good move. This was a game-changing move, giving white a winning position. It is a great move. This prevents an assault on a pawn that may have been taken. That's good. This defends the attacked bishop. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This is a missed chance to expose a rook onslaught. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. This enables the adversary to disclose an attack on a rook. It is incorrect. This reveals a rook attack. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. Recaptures. White is ahead at this point in the end game. It is ideal. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This enables the adversary to remove the king from the rear rank and activate it. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to move the king out of the rear rank and activate it. It is incorrect. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is ideal. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. This may succeed in winning a bishop. It is quite good. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This moves the checking pawn farther away. It is ideal. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. 
both players had an amazing opening. The middle game battle was fairly even. White outmaneuvered Black in the end game. 